Bismillah Rahman Rahim Ya Ali Madad and welcome to It Represents Family Quiz Challenge 2021 Is bar ki jo hamari theme thi Family Quiz Challenge ki wo thi Office of the Imam Is bar hamari jamaat mein se 43 families ne is mein participate kiya hai So first of all a round of applause and a big thank you for all those participating families we have our winning families also which we shall announce at the end of the quiz so let me present to you the family quiz challenge 2021 i sincerely hope that you will participate and enjoy the quiz so let's begin here is the first question greeted in the forecourt by molana hazar imam the leaders halted for the dash before being invited by the imam to enter his residence aur aapke options hai a tilawat e quran b nasheed al imama and the option 3 is ginan and qasida and the correct answer is option b nasheed al imama let us listen to this beautiful nasheed al imama question number 2 identify the picture below and the options are a aga khan museum artifacts option b gifts hazar imam received during diamond jubilee option c insignia of the office of imamat and the correct answer is option c insignia of the office of imamat and you can see in the picture the chain the holy quran the ismaili constitution inkwell ceremonial sword and parasol all these represent insignia of the office of imamat let's look at the video showing the presentation of the insignia of the office of imam to madan hazar imam during his jubilee
The ceremony will signify the spiritual relationship between the Imam and his murids. It begins with the placement of the insignia of the office of the Imam Zaman before him. First we had the chain of office and the Holy Quran. Next we have the Ismaili constitution and the inkwell following an Alid Fatimid tradition of intellect and knowledge in the service of both Din and Dunya. The ceremonial sword from the time of the Prophet and Hazrat Ali, it has symbolized defense of the faith and its values, protection of the weak and dispensation of justice. And finally, a parasol of fabric matching the Imam's garments and traditionally representing the Imam's divinely ordained authority. Question number three. Identify images of the individuals in the background surrounding Hazar Imam. Both are royal monarchs of the Persian Qajar dynasty. And the options are A. Fateh Ali Shah and Sultan Ahmed. Option B. Fateh Ali Shah and Muhammad Shah. Option C. Sultan Ahmed and Muhammad Shah. And the correct answer is option B. Fateh Ali Shah and Muhammad Shah. Both are the royal monarchs of the Persian Qajar dynasty. Question number four. Extracts from the Talika Mubarak to the Global Jamaat. Quote, I wish my Jamaat to keep in mind the importance I attach to our historic tradition of personal, private, fill in the blank, unquote. And the options are A, savings, B, health, C, prayer. And the correct answer is option C, prayer. I wish my Jamaat to keep in mind the importance I attach to our historic tradition of personal private prayer. Extracts from the Talika Mubarak to the Global Jamaat. Question number five. Identify the occasion from the picture. And the options are A. The first convocation of the University of Central Asia 19th June 2021. Option B. Kenya Charter Granting Ceremony of the Aga Khan University 11th June 2021. Option C. Global Virtual Convocation of the Aga Khan University 22nd of May 2021. And the correct answer is option A, the first convocation of the University of Central Asia, 19th June 2021. Let's listen to the extracts of the speech delivered by Maulana Hazar Imam during the first convocation of the University of Central Asia. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Your Excellency President Rahman, Your Excellency President Zhaparov, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Governors, Chairman Dr. Shams Qasim Laka, and members of the Board of Trustees, Rector, Deans, Faculty, and Staff of the University, Parents, Supporters, and Distinguished Guests, and Graduates. It is a truly genuine pleasure for me to celebrate this milestone moment with you. The graduation of the first class of students from the School of Arts and Sciences at the University of Central Asia. 
This event is also a very significant moment in my own life, as it represents the culmination of more than two decades of effort in conceptualizing, planning, and building this institution with the valuable support of patrons, presidents, administrations of the founding states. This region is where medicine was founded, where algebra got its name, where the Earth's diameter was precisely calculated, where some of the world's greatest poetry was penned. This happened because the societies were open to new ideas, open to change, open to scholars and people from many backgrounds. That kind of openness can again unlock the doors to the future and allows us to take on the great questions of our time and place. Question number six. Insignia of the office of Imamath, a ceremonial sword. What does it signify? And the options are A. Power of Imam B. Courage of Murshid Option C. Defense and protection of the faith And the correct answer is option C. A ceremonial sword signifies the defense and protection of the faith. Question number seven. Following excerpt of Maulana Hazar Imam is from which speech? Quote, Our institutions have been there for many decades and it is my hope today that they will participate in improving the quality of life of all the people of Eastern Africa as they build for future generations. Unquote. And the options are A. Upon being honored with the Chief of the Order of the Golden Heart of Kenya. Option B. Upon being honored with the Most Excellent Order of the Pearl of Africa Medal Uganda. Option C. Upon being honored with the Champion for Global Change Award. And the correct answer is option B. Upon being honored with the Most Excellent Order of the Pearl of Africa Medal Uganda. Let's listen to this excerpt of Malana Hazar Imam. Residents, guests, citizens of Uganda, I want to say today how honored I am to celebrate this occasion with you, 55 years of independence. Your national pathway has been exciting and inspiring to watch. And all your friends, including of course myself, look to the future of Uganda in hope, in aspiration for a better quality of life for all the people of Uganda and of this region of Africa. And I would like to say that though my community is small in Eastern Africa, our institutions have been here for many decades. And it is my hope that they will participate in improving the quality of life of all the people of Eastern Africa as they build for future generations. I particularly wish to thank the President for inviting me to share this marvelous occasion with you and to say that I will carry it in my heart and my thoughts until my last day. Thank you. Question number eight. Insignia of the office of Imamath, a parasol. What does it signify? And the options are A, a protective canopy. Option B, the nation or community. Option C, the Imamath as renewal and hope. And the correct answer is option A 
a protective canopy. Question number nine. The notion of seat goes back to the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, whose residence in Medina served both as a seat and a mosque. This statement, is it true or false? And the answer is true. The notion of seat goes back to the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, whose residence in Medina served both as a seat and a mosque. Question number 10. Insignia of the office of Imamat, an inkwell, what does it represent? And the options are A, the spiritual expression of thoughts in Islam. Option B, the primacy of the Quran in Islam. Option C, the primacy of the intellect and of knowledge in Islam. And the correct answer is option C. An inkwell represents the primacy of the intellect and of knowledge in Islam. Question number 11. During the Diamond Jubilee Darbar of Uganda, what gift was presented to Maulana Hazar Imam? And the options are A. A manuscript of the Kuliyat collected words of Musli al-Din Saadi, a 13th century Persian poet. Option B, an ivory and wood inlaid cabinet dating back to the 16th, 17th century Mughal India. Or is it option C, a portrait of Fateh Ali Shah Qajar, king of Persia, an ancestor of the Imam? And the correct answer is option C. A portrait of Fateh Ali Shah Qajar, king of Persia, an ancestor of the Imam. This was the gift that was presented to Maulana Hazar Imam during the Diamond Jubilee Darbar of Uganda. Question number 12. Insignia of the Office of Imamat. The constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslim. What does it signify? Options are A. The Talim of the Imam of the time. B. The authority of the Imam of the time. C. The power of the Imam of the time. And the correct answer is option B the authority of the Imam of the time. Question number 13. Quote, For centuries, one of the core backbones of our Jamaat has been our tradition of dash, unquote, extracts of the Talika Mubarak to the global Jamaat. And the options are A. Voluntary service B civil society c pluralism and the correct answer is a voluntary service for centuries one of the core backbones of our jamaat has been our tradition of voluntary service question number 14 complete the following sentence man kuntu Dash for Aliyun Maulahu. He whose Maula I am, Ali is his Maula. And the options are A. Wali, B. Allah, C. Maulahu. And the correct answer is C. Maulahu. Man kuntu Maulahu for Aliyun. Maulahu. He whose Maula I am, Ali is his Maula. Question number 15. The Imams 
dash lights the Murid's path to spiritual enlightenment and vision. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. And the options are A. Noor, B. Farman, C. The Alim. And the correct answer is option C. The Imam's Ta'aleem lights the Murid's path to spiritual enlightenment and vision. Question number 16. Identify the award Mulana Hazar Imam was honored with at the United Nations Foundation's UNF Global Leadership Dinner on October 18, 2017 in a New York City. And the options are A. The Champion of a Global Change B. The Grand Cross of the Order of Liberty C. Global Pluralism Award And the correct answer is A. The Champion of a Global Change Let's listen to the remarks made by Antonio Guterres during this award ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, it's for me an enormous pleasure and an enormous honor to be with all of you today. A few years ago, I was High Commissioner for Refugees. We met, and His Highness was extremely concerned with the situation of his community in Syria, the Ismaili community living in Salamiya, at the risk of being overrun by the Islamic State at any moment. And he massively invested in support to his community, but not only to his community. Salamiya became an example in a, in a Syrian country ravaged by war and by sectarian divides. Salamiya became the example where Ismailis, Sunnis and Christians were living together, sharing everything with the, the fantastic support and the leadership of His Highness. This is the example the world needs today with the vision and the generosity of Ted Turner with the wisdom, the tolerance and compassion of His Highness the Aga Khan, I think we can win the battle for a better world. Thank you very much. Question number 17. The Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims affirm the dash La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah the Tawheed therein and that the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last and final prophet of Allah. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. The options are A. Kalama B. Shahada C. Tilawat And the correct answer is option B. Shahada The Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims Affirm the Shahada, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, the Tawheed therein, and that the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last and final Prophet of Allah. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. Question number 18. Quote, I believe. My Jamaat will find comfort and support from the dash, whether in Jamaat Khanas where these are accessible or by way of private personal prayer. Unquote. Excerpt of the Talika Mubarak to the Global Jamaat. And the options are A. Institutions, B. Brothers and Sisters, C. Practice of their faith. And the correct answer is option C, practice of their faith. Quote, I believe my Jamaat will find comfort and support from the practice of their faith, whether in Jamaat Khanas, where these are accessible, or by way of private personal prayer. Unquote. Excerpt of Talika Mubarak to the Global Jamaat. Question number 19. Look at the image. At the center of the emblem is the Imam's crest. 
how many Christians are surrounding the crest and what does it represent? And the options are A, 49 Christians representing continuity of spiritual leadership of Maulana Hazar Imam. Option B, 60 Christians representing the 60 years of the leadership of Maulana Hazar Imam. Option C, 5 Christians representing Ahlul Bayt. And the correct answer is option B, 60 Christians representing the 60 years of the leadership of Maulana Hazar Imam. Question number 20, quote, Maulana Hazar Imam Shah Karim al Husseini, His Highness Prince Aga Khan, in direct lineal descent from the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through Hazrat Maulana Ali Alaihi Wasallam and Dash is the 49th Imam of the Ismaili Muslims. Unquote. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. And the options are A. Hazrat Hassan, B. Hazrat Hussain, C. Hazrat Bibi Fatima alayhim salam and the correct answer is option C Hazrat Bibi Fatima alayhim salam quote Maulana Hazar Imam Shah Karim al Husseini His Highness Prince Aga Khan in direct lineal descent from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam through Hazrat Maulana Ali alayhi wasallam and Hazrat Bibi Fatima alayhim salam is the 49th Imam of the Ismaili Muslims. Unquote. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. Question number 21. Identify if the below statement is true or false. This is the first time in the Ismaili Imamat's 1400 years history that a seat has been established following an agreement with a sovereign non-Muslim country, making the designation a milestone moment for the global Jamaat. Is the above statement true or false? And the answer is true. This is a correct statement. This is the first time in the Ismaili Imamat's 1400 years history that a seat has been established following an agreement with a sovereign non-Muslim country making the designation a milestone moment for the global Jamaat. Question number 22. Bayya, the act of acceptance by the murid of the permanent spiritual bond between the Imam and the Tash, excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. And the options are A. Murid, B. Khalif, C. Da'i. And the correct answer is option A. Murid. Bayya, the act of acceptance by the Murid of the permanent spiritual bond between the Imam and the Murid, except from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. Question number 23. Quote, as dash, I have authorized modifications to the conduct of ceremonies in Ajamat Khanas to ensure compliance with present health and safety requirements. Unquote. Accepts from the Talika Mubarak to the Global Jamaat. And the options are A. Aga Khan, B. Imam of the Time, C. Chancellor. And the correct answer is option B, Imam of the time. Quote, as Imam of the time, I have authorized modifications to the conduct of ceremonies in Ajamat Khanas to ensure compliance with present health and safety requirements. Unquote. Talika Mubarak to the global Jamaat. Question number 24. Identify the occasion from the picture and the options are A. The first convocation of the University of Central Asia, 19th June 2021. 
Option B, Kenya Charter Granting Ceremony of the Aga Khan University, 11th June 2021. Option C, Global Virtual Convocation of the Aga Khan University, 22nd May 2021. The correct answer is option C, Global Virtual Convocation of the Aga Khan University held on the 22nd of May 2021. Question number 25. Insignia of the Office of the Imamat, the ceremonial chain of office, what does it represent? And the options are A. The continuity of the Imam of the time. B. The authority of the Imam of the time. C. The power of the Imam of the time. And the correct answer is option A. The ceremonial chain of the insignia of the office of Imamat represents the continuity of the Imam of the time. Question number 26. Quote, Islam as revealed in the dash is the final message of Allah to mankind and is universal and eternal. Unquote. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. And the options are A. Arabia, B. Mecca, C. Holy Quran. And the correct answer is option C. Holy Quran. Quote Islam, as revealed in the Holy Quran, is the final message of Allah to mankind and is universal and eternal, unquote, excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. Question number 27, quote, My spiritual children should always remain mindful that it is the dash that will bring peace and solace in these times of uncertainty, unquote. A message from Maulana Hazar Imam to the worldwide Jamaat. And the options are A. Unity B. Generosity C. Principles of our faith. And the correct answer is option C. Principles of our faith. Quote My spiritual children should always remain mindful that it is the principles of our faith that will bring peace and solace in these times of uncertainty. Unquote. A message from Maulana Hazar Imam to the worldwide Jamaat. Question number 28. What is the official website of the Ismaili Imamat launched on 11th July 2018? And the options are a. The dot Ismaili Imamat. B. Ismaili dot Imamat. C. The Ismaili Imamat dot org. And the correct answer is B. Ismaili dot Imamat. Question number 29. The historic event at dash where the Prophet Muhammad declared Hazrat Ali as the Mawla of the faithful. And the options are A. Safa B. Marwa C. ghadir hum And the correct answer is C. ghadir e hum The historic event at ghadir e hum where the Prophet Muhammad declared Hazrat Ali as the Mawla of the Faithful. Question number 30. Hazrat Ali, during his reign as the first Imam and the fourth Caliph of the Muslim Ummah, established his seat in Dash. And the options are A. Karbala, B. Kufa, C. Kaaba. And the correct answer is option. B. Kufa. Hazrat Ali, during his reign 
as the first Imam and the fourth Caliph of the Muslim Ummah established his seat in Kufa. Question number 31. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam designated and appointed his cousin and son-in-law Hazrat Maulana Ali Amirul Mu'mineen Alayhi Salam to be the first Imam to continue the dash of Allah's final message and to guide the Murids. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. And the options are A. Revelation and commands B. Ta'wil and Ta'aleem C. Spiritual teachings and the correct answer is option B, Ta'awil and Ta'aleem. Quote, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam designated and appointed his cousin and son-in-law, Hazrat Maulana Ali Amirul Mu'mineen Alayhi Wasallam, to be the first Imam to continue the Ta'awil and Ta'aleem of Allah's final message and to guide the Murids. Unquote. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. Question number 32. Quote, the world is facing a challenging time and in these moments it is important that the Jamaat remains dash on helping those who will need assistance and hand-holding. Unquote. Extracts of a message from Alana Hazar Imam to the Worldwide Jamaat. And the options are A. United and focused B. United and generous C. United and strong And the correct answer is Option A. United and focused Quote The world is facing a challenging time and in these moments, it is important that the Jamaat remains united and focused on helping those who will need assistance and hand-holding. Unquote. Excerpts from a message from Maulana Hazar Imam to the Worldwide Jamaat. Question number 33. Insignia of the Office of the Imamat. The Holy Quran. What? does it signify and the options are a the knowledge of the imam of the time b the divine guidance c the authority of the imam and the correct answer is option b the divine guidance insignia of the office of the imamat the holy quran represents the divine guidance question number 34 quote the authority of the imam in the ismaili tariqa is testified by unquote excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the shia imami ismaili muslims and the options are a shahada b chanta c bayya and the correct answer is option C. Bayya. Quote, the authority of the Imam in the Ismaili Tariqa is testified by Bayya. Unquote. Excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. Question number 35. Look at the image. Which ayat of the Holy Quran is rendered in the outer ring of the diamond jubilee emblem and the options are a surah 49 ayat 13 b surah 43 ayat 19 c surah 13 ayat 49 and the correct answer is option a surah 49 Ayat 13. This is the ayat of the Holy Quran which has been rendered 
in the outer ring of the Diamond Jubilee emblem. Question number 36. Quote, It is my hope that the Jamaat will share in my happiness over the accomplishment of this significant milestone, which I believe will strengthen the Imamate's capacity to fulfill its mandate of ensuring the Jamaat's safety, security, and quality of life. Unquote. Identify the occasion. And the options are A. Signing of the new Ismaili constitution. B. Designating the Divan of the Ismaili Imamat. C. Signing of the Global Center of Pluralism. And the correct answer is option B. Designating the Divan of the Ismaili Imamat. Let's listen to these excerpts from Molana Hazar Imam. It is my hope that the Jamaat will share in my happiness over the accomplishment of this significant milestone, which I believe will strengthen the Imamat's capacity to fulfill its mandate of ensuring the Jamaat's safety, security, and quality of life. Thank you. Question number 37. In the Dash era, the seat of the Ismaili Imamat moved from Rakada in Kairawan, now Tunisia, first to Al Mahdiya and thereafter to Al Mansuria and eventually to Al Kahira, now Cairo in Egypt, a city founded by Maulana Hazar Imam's ancestor, our 14th Imam Khalif Al Mu'iz. And the options are A. Fatimid B. Abbasid C. Safavid And the correct answer is option A. Fatimid In the Fatimid era, the seat of the Ismaili Imamat moved from Rakada in Kairawan, now Tunisia, first to al Mahdiya and thereafter to al Mansuria and eventually to al Kahira, now Cairo in Egypt, a city founded by Maulana Hazri Imam's ancestor, our 14th Imam Khalif al Mu'iz. Question number 38. Identify the occasion from the picture. Options A. The first convocation of the University of Central Asia, 19th June 2021. B. Kenya Charter Granting Ceremony of the Aga Khan University, 11th June 2021. C. Global Virtual Convocation of the Aga Khan University, 22nd May 2021. And the correct answer is option B. Kenya Charter Granting Ceremony of the Aga Khan University held on 11th of June. 2021. Let's listen to the excerpts of the remarks made by Maulana Hazar Imam during this ceremony. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Professor George Magoha, Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor Chacha, Chairman of the Commission for University Education, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with the greatest satisfaction and the deepest gratitude that I accept the Kenya Charter of the Arkhan University. My only regret is that due to the pandemic, I cannot be present in person to receive the instruments of authority and to celebrate this momentous occasion in the university's history. The Charter details AKU's functions, powers, obligations and governance. But it is more than a legal document. It is a vote of confidence in AKU and all those who are part of it. Our faculty, our staff, administration, 
students, alumni, friends and supporters. Question number 39. Hadith al-Takhlan. The Hadith of Two Weighty Matters. Quote, I am living among you two matters of great weight, the Book of Allah and my kindred, dash, the people of my house, unquote. And the options are A. Ahl al-Sunnah B. Ahl al-Jannat C. Ahl al -Bayt. And the correct answer is option C. Ahl al -Bayt. Quote, I am living among you two matters of great weight, the Book of Allah and my kindred, Ahl al -Bayt the people of my house, unquote. Hadith al-Takhlan, the Hadith of two weighty matters. Question number 40. Identify if the below statement is true or false. Diamond Jubilee of Maulana Hazar Imam was only the fifth of its kind in 1400 years of Ismaili history. And the answer is true. Maulana Hazar Imam is the only fifth Imam to have the Diamond Jubilee of his Imamat in 1400 years of Ismaili history. The five Imams who have completed 60 years of their Imamat are the 29th Imam, Maulana Qasim Shah. 37th Imam Maulana Zulfikar Ali, 46th Imam Maulana Shah Hassan Ali, 48th Imam Maulana Sultan Muhammad Shah, and our present and living Imam Maulana Shah Karim Al Husseini Hazar Imam. Question number 41, the last question. Quote, Succession of the Imamat is by way of dash, unquote, excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. And the options are A. Nasheed, B. Nas, C. Noor. And the correct answer is option B. Nas, quote, Succession of the Imamat is by way of Nas, unquote, excerpt from the preamble of the constitution of the Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. We now present to you the top 20 families. Okay, so with this, we conclude the Ithreb Family Quiz Challenge 2021. We hope that this has been a journey of fun and learning for the members of the Jamaat. Once again, a big thank you for all the participating families. 
and we look forward to welcome you again and to see many more families joining us in the next round of the family quiz challenge 2022